everyone. Uh, it's Donna from Soap and So at the Stuff I Love. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, so, a few things going on in the soap kitchen today. We are melting butters down for the Parma Violet body butter. Probably our most popular item, I think, on the website and on Etsy. We're also melting down some soap for um, for pomegranate noir. So our loaves of soap, we've got 12 batches melting down. But I'm also trying something different today, which I wanted to just share with you. So this is a, a mix for our bubble bath dust. Uh, it's like a bath bomb dust, but really foamy and bubbly uh, because it contains something called sodium lauryl sulfoacetate, uh, otherwise known as SLSA. Um, I haven't made this before, it is part of my safety assessments for my bath bombs uh, and a couple of people have asked for it so I thought I'm going to give it a go. Uh, first time I've, I've really made this so uh, no doubt on camera it will go terribly wrong but let's hope not. Okay so I, I will post my recipe into the comments but I have a 2 to 1 ratio on bicarbonate of soda um, so that's twice as much bicarbonate soda to citric acid. Um, and to give the really foaming properties that I've just talked about, we use something called uh, sodium lauryl sulfoacetate, so SLSA. It is not SLS, so sodium lauryl sulfates can often cause irritation to individuals. Um, it's quite harsh on the skin. It's a product that I can't use and haven't been able to for many years. Um, so I've swapped it out for a much more... Uh, milder product that is coconut and palm oil based um, from sustainable sources so it's much gentler on the skin. So today I'm just going to make a small batch because I want to try it and I want to include it as some samples uh, in my wholesale orders to see if anyone's interested in buying it. Uh, I'm unsure the, how much it's going to go into so I've got a couple of different bags to use. Um, I quite like these ones. These are great, the, the hologram bags. Usually I use just the brown craft bags, but I, I, I found these on a website and thought I'm going to get some of those for my bubble bath dust. Um, so I've, I've got a couple there. Uh, just really to finish up the recipe, so sodium lauryl, uh, SLSA sodium lauryl sulfoacetate, I usually add um, about... 10% of my recipe, so 2 to 1 bicarbonate soda and then another 10% in the SLSA. Uh, and then what I've got here, because uh, I want to make it an orange and a green colour, um, I've got some apricot kernel oil, just a small amount, and a green colourant, so I may need to add to it with a different one, um, which I'll get ready. So uh, it's also got the fragrance in, which is um, lime and mango today. That's what I'm trying. I want to do it in an apricot colour. So I've got a sort of a ready apricot colour, but also in, in green as well. Um, so I want to see how these come out, but mainly to add a different type of green. So I'm just going to pop this in. This one is going to be the green, which I will mix first. You see it's starting to go green. I really like to add apricot kernel oil. Um, it's, it's such a nice product. Um, it's really good for the skin. It's really softening. Uh, and I think one of my, my recipes that I have uh, has the apricot kernel oil in, but I have a, a number of them at different types as well. Uh, and those always have some sort of oil or butter in so um she butter is a really really good one i like to add melted she butter but olive oil um even some of the really lightweight ones such as sweet almond oil um i, I do add into my bath bombs that way at least um they do smooth your skin sometimes bath bombs can feel a little bit drying if they're just bicarbonate and citric acid uh, and actually just adding in that bit of butter oil is really good for your skin. I'm going to add in a little bit of a, of a different green. Um, I 
did say I wasn't going to make a mess today as I was going to be filming it. But no matter what I try and do with bath bombs, I get into a mess. Always the same with soap too. So as you can see, it's a really lovely green colour. I'm just going to keep mixing it to make sure that all of the apricot has, um, the apricot oil has been incorporated in. It's easier actually when you're making a big batch because you can put it in the mixer. But doing it by hand, it's a, it's a, a little bit harder. So that's the green colour, and I'm now going to add in. I hope it's okay. Some of the apricot one. Uh, so that's apricot colour, it should go a, start to go an orangey colour. It just means as people use it, I've got some, some nice colours in the bath, either the apricot, the, the orangey peach colour, or the green. I'm trying to add it a little bit at a time, um, so it's not too, too wet, because what you, you really don't want is... Um, or bubble powder that's too wet because it will start to stick together and I don't want it sticking together in the in the packets that's, that's more like a um, that becomes almost like a bath bomb I keep going with this hopefully we'll start to see it go nice orangey colour it's starting to go now this is a much smaller amount I've used for the orange because I was going to layer it as green, peach and green again. So I'm hoping I've got enough here. So again, I'm going to keep, keep mixing it and um, pushing it between my fingers. I don't want it to stick together, but I do want all of the oil and the fragrance to be properly mixed around. is good for your arms. My, my stepmom Pam helps me with um, making some of the soap and bath bombs and she always says that I must have really strong hands and arms to be able to make them and mix them like I do. I think you just get used to it. Oh that's lovely, that's a nice colour. So that's the sort of colour I like. It will colour the water, so you will get a nice green and um, peach and a bit of red and a bit of yellow, which is really, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to try and get rid of this. So those are the two, the green and the peach. They look really nice actually. With the snow fairy one, I have in the past, I sort of tried it for Christmas and gave it to friends and family and um, that was really popular. Uh, and I actually added glitter into it so it went really well. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave it for a bit so it doesn't clump together and then I will come back and start packaging it a bit later on. So 200 grams, I think I might fit it in a small bag, but we'll come back to that in a, in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I've let this dry for a bit now, so the uh, bubble bath dust has, uh, has dried. It's settled down into these two colours, as you can see. And the most important thing is the pixies have been in tidied up, which is lovely. I love it when the pixies come in and tidy up, uh, which is good because I'm now going to create a load more mess, no doubt. Um, as you can see with these bags, they're clear at the front, so you can actually see the different colours as they go in, which is, is quite nice. With the craft bags, you tend to only have a small window, so you, you can't really see the layering. And I'm going to try and weigh these out at about 200 grams. Um, I think that the small ones are probably more suited to 100 grams. Um, I'll have to give that a go separately and I might do that in a minute. Uh, but the 200 grams one I will put in here. So I also use these for, um, well, I will be using them for our carpet freshener as well. Um, they're, they're quite a nice bag. So. 
Now to make some more mess, uh, I'm going to start layering it up just as um, really a green uh, and then a line of, of peach and then a line of green and just weigh that out. I may end up putting slightly more in to the bag. It doesn't matter, these are samples that are going out really to, to existing customers. Oops, a bit more mess. Um, so that's slightly oval. What I'm going to do is put a little bit more peach in the top because you can't really see it there. So they will end up being slightly bigger, but Actually, when people put them in the bath, they get a, a nice sort of handful of orange and green and red dust. That looks quite nice actually in that bag. So that is that's about 240, but that's still quite quite a nice amount. You don't need a huge amount in your bath, and you get lots of foam out of it. I am going to see what I can get in one of these small ones. Um, because I can then send that out as a um, sample as well for some of the smaller orders. I think it's probably going to be about 100 grams, but let's check. So in, in the bath dust fragrances, we will have um, coconut, uh, obviously snow fairy, Let's get that on the right one. Uh, Snow Fairy. We've also got um, a couple of perfume dupes, um, which is uh, similar to uh, Invictus. It's obviously a, a similar to fragrance, not the real one. Um, uh, we've also got orange basil and lime, watermelon, and the watermelon is absolutely lovely. It's allergen free. So it's really perfect for sensitive skins. It's really nice. So that bag does hold about 100 grams. I'm going to do another one of the 200 grams now. Um, but we've also got oak smoke and embers, which is a really nice aftershave type fragrance. I don't think it's a dupe, but it is really, really nice. Um, it, it smells very earthy, uh, very woodsy, which is really good. Um, sort of that. that that moss fragrance type, um, which is is really nice. Um, and the last one we've got is the, the lime and mango, which is this one I'm making a real mess with at the moment. I'm gonna try pouring it in, that's probably the answer. some more green on the top this does smell lovely actually the lime and mango we actually got them from a sort of, always try and support small businesses elsewhere and um, there's another company called so posh who do the fragrances um, which is a really really nice fragrance this one we do it in all of our bath bombs and we've got some shampoo bars in the same the same sort of range um, but their, their fragrances are so good they smell so real they're strong um, there are very few allergens in on, on the whole we tend to go for the allergen free ones but really really good quality which is nice uh, and it's nice to support an, another business certainly since the pandemic so I'm going to do another one of 100 grams because uh, this will be quite nice to send out free with our smaller wholesale orders so we will be sell selling this both wholesale and retail uh, it, it is on the website and I'll put the link just in the, the bio tomorrow and I'm just going to try and get the last bit of green um, into here I always like when I finished washing my bowls not that I like washing the bowls but putting the colour into the water so that when I wash up I can see the colour it would be in the bath which is always really nice and I think tonight I'm going to try one of these and film it so I can add on to the end of the video which will be really good. So 
So there you go. Bubble bath dust. Um, it's like a bath bomb but with foaming agents so you get lots of soft creamy bubbles. This is lime and mango and they're available on our website. Um, thank you for joining me today. I struggle because actually making something and talking at the same time, I don't think I can multitask very well. Uh, but, but don't tell my husband that. Uh, tomorrow we're going to come back and we're going to make uh, Palmer Violet Body Butter, which is one of our top sellers, uh, one of our most popular items. So uh, I'll be sharing my recipe for that and just, just showing how we, we whip that, what we um, provide it in uh, and how it looks when it's ready to go out. Thank you very much. See you later.